How, tell me how it feels, because you're going to rock for your hometown. Man, it feels so crazy. Like I feel like I could pee on myself. Wait until you see who. Wait until you see who I'm bringing out. Though I got a good. I got a good good surprise. Yo, this is my first summer jam. So I gotta make it as New York as possible. I gotta take it back. I gotta just take it back. A surprise? Who's she gonna bring? Uh, I don't know. Well, she's got she's got features on her album. By the way, the album which dropped a few months ago. I was just with a good friend of mine who was telling me who, whose music opinion I so respect. Who thinks this is the best R&B album in years? Um, and I listened to it this weekend, dude. You have incredible music on this album. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do you feel like people are opening their eyes to this record the way that they should be? Um, I feel like the people that know about it, but without that that push, you know what I'm talking about. Without yeah. that political push, without the, the, the force behind you, you're never really going to get the recognition you deserve. You know what I'm saying? So. I think it's like, I think the way that you became known as a celebrity was like sort of an interesting route. So it catches people off guard when they find out how good you are as an actual singer. But you should be proud of the work you did. Amazing. And now you're here at your first summer jam. Yeah. yeah. How deep does your collection, I know you do jerseys and stuff, but how deep does your collection of like vintage hip hop here go? Man, everything. My, Red man, like yeah, oh, this is super tight. Shit. Yeah, I'm, I and I, I had to bring this out because you know, remind me of concert shirts when you used to go to go to summer jam. You buy the t-shirts for in the parking lot. You know of what course, I'm saying? So of course. I kind of wanted to bring that back, you know, and, and and bring back the essence of summer jam. You know, sometimes in our new generation, we forget where we come from. We forget where it started. We forget hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So. What? Tell me about your first summer jam experience, though, as a fan. Did you ever come here with your girls and just were wilding out? I never got the chance to because I was already, like, kind of famous when I was 15. So when I was finally allowed to come, I was already, like, backstage. You know, like, I was the girl from 316. Everybody was fucking with my swag. I was signing Pharrell. You know what I'm saying? So it was already, like, it, I got the cool pass. So I never got the chance to really be out here and be like, Listen, when I look at Tiana, I feel like she's one of my homegirls. I feel like she can wall out. You take her to the cookout and just have a good time and bug out. Um, cool. All right, we got to let you do What else? What other preparation do you have left to do? You said you're not done getting dressed, correct? Yeah, I need to eat some chicken. <laughs> of it has course. to be chicken? You have to eat chicken. Yeah, I got to be some fried chicken and tea. All right, fried chicken, tea, and honey. I can't wait to see her outfit, too, because this is not it. She's not done. This is, you're not done, I know. Not done. I was going to show a little bit of six-pack. You have to. But that's what I'm saying. Keep on the shirt. No. Uh, listen, I love the shirt, but six pack and cleavage needs to happen. Exactly. We need that. We need that.